Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we have an exciting tutorial because we are going to be making something that you see in a lot of web pages but it isn't the most obvious on how to make it. We are going to be making a full page heading color. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you an example right now so that you can see if you're even interested in what this tutorial has to offer. So I just went to Angie'sList.com and as you can see on the top, she has a green color that goes all the way across her page. And whether you zoom in, you zoom out, that green color stays there. How on earth did she do that? Well, if you're interested, I'm going to show you right now. In order to make this tutorial, you're going to need Dreamweaver, you're going to need Photoshop, and you're going to need your site defined with a default images folder. If you don't know how to define a site, go to one of my earlier tutorials in the site configuration and I will show you exactly how to do that. So if you have all this stuff, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Dreamweaver. Let's open up a new HTML and let's save it as background underscore header and save. So this is where we are going to be making our workspace. Let's just change this to a nice gray real quick. Go to page properties, background color, and let's change it to CCC. Okay, so now let's make our background heading that scales the entire page. In order to do that, let's go into Photoshop. Let's go File, New, and let's make a width of 125, a height of 125, 72 resolution, transparent background, click OK. F it to full screen it, and then let's zoom in to around 400%. And now we can clearly see everything. So in order to make that cool effect, what we are going to do is all we're going to do is go to our rectangle tool, and we're going to find the color that we want. So let's, uh, I'm going to find a cool blue color. So the color I'm going to be using is 001255. If you don't know how to put it in, just highlight down here and click 001255, and you will have the same color as me. Let's click OK. And now let's click and drag this across the entire workspace with our square tool. And that is going to be the top heading of our page. So now we want to crop this out. So let's go to our crop tool. I have my slice tool selected right now, but it's the fifth one down. Go to crop and then crop this image as small as you can get it. So let's just make a regular crop and then let's move this in real small and double click it when you're done. And this is going to be the top. This is it. So let's save this. Go to file, save as, Go to your default images folder, so find wherever your site is defined and go to your default images folder and let's save it as header. And we just saved it as a PSD, so let's save it as a uh, let's save it as a PNG file and click save. Interlace does not matter, whatever you like. And now let's go back to Dreamweaver, go to your page properties, go to background image browse, go to your default images folder, and find that header that you just saved choose that and repeat it on the x-axis and let's change our top alignment to zero so let's click OK and let's preview this on a browser and check that out we're well on our way to being the next Angie's List we made a header that scales across the entire page and see now I'm zooming in I'm, I'm going on my kinds of zooms and it goes all the way across no matter what so now all that you would do is you would insert a couple tables you'd put the stuff that you want on top of it and you are well on your way to making a professional looking website so thank you for watching this has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and I hope this tutorial was useful